Uh, well, after a couple of goes, at least there's enough words missing that you couldn't use BTC Recover to brute force it. If you're looking to hold cryptocurrencies for the long term, the quality of your backups is one of the most important things. You want to make sure that your seed is stored both offline, because storing it online is a really bad idea, but you also want to make sure the physical copies you keep are safe from common accidents like water damage or less common things like a fire. There are a number of metal seed storage products on the market now that seek to do this and in this video I'll be looking at the CryptoTag Zeus that is a titanium uh, steel plate backup system that was kindly sent to me by the people at CryptoTag. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and that way you can stay in the loop for content I make to help you find your way in the crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. All right, so this is everything that comes in the box. You've got uh, a nice little letter, you've got some biscuits, and you've got the crypto tag Zeus itself. All right, so this is everything that comes in the box. You've got the crypto tag itself, which uh, this one has uh, my channel name engraved on it, and that just sort of clips together to thick titanium plates. It's very, very robust. If you take the clips off, this opens up to be two plates uh, that are sandwiched together with numbers 1 through 24. It also comes with two conversion cards to basically convert from BIP39 words to these numbers. comes with an instruction guide which uh, is reasonably comprehensive and also includes a full BIP39 word list and some instructions on how to use it, so that's great. It also comes with uh, the stamper, that's what's going to actually put the marks in these plates, comes with some earplugs and some matches to burn these once you're done. So right out of the gate this gets a big tick because all of the tools you need to set this up are included with the product itself, including nice things like earplugs and even you know some matches to burn these cards. So we're just going to follow the bouncing ball through the setup. So the first thing you need to do is to write down your recovery words on one of these conversion sheets. Most software wallets and some hardware wallets will just give you a 12 word seed and things like a Ledger Nano X or S uh, on most other hardware wallets will give you a full 24 word seed. So you have to write down your seed phrase on the conversion sheet and that will either mean writing it down directly from your wallet or possibly just transcribing it from your existing paper backup. So step two is to find the corresponding numbers in the BIP39 word list. Now for this second point, the thing that's really important to emphasize is that storing numbers only is a double-edged sword. Now basically the crypto tag comes with a copy of the English BIP39 word list, but the English word list is not the only word list that is actually part of BIP39. And what that means is that if you, for example, look at the Japanese word list, the advantage of the approach with CryptoTag is you can just print this list out and basically use these index numbers for all of these Japanese BIP39 words. And the same is true for any of these languages. Or if your seed phrase is in one of the languages where you actually need more than the first four letters, then the crypto tag is one of the only products that you can actually use. If you're using something like a Trezor or a Keystone that supports SLIP39, you will actually need to print off the uh, word list for SLIP39 and to use these numbers rather than the BIP39 numbers. And if you're using SLIP39, it is very important that you get this right. For example, the word phrase, which is in my uh, 24 word seed, is number 667 on the SLIP39 word list, but is word 1311 on the BIP39 list. So if you're using the crypto tag with anything other than an English BIP39 seed, you need to make absolutely sure you are using the right word list to generate the indexes that you will be stamping onto your metal. You also need to make sure that you include some kind of documentation about which word list you used with your backup, because the numbers on their own are not enough, and you may not remember where your seed came from 10 years from now. 
That said, it's great to see that they are just using the standard BIP39 word list as opposed to doing something like just coming up with their own encoding strategy or something like that. And what that means is even in the future, if you've lost this, it shouldn't be too difficult for you to print out a copy of the BIP39 word list and decode everything you've got backed up on here. So basically all of these words are in the BIP39 word list and uh, the instruction manual actually has a full list of the BIP39 words. So for example, this first word is like, so I would need to flick through here and to find like, which is, and the number for like is this one here, which is 1038. So we put in 1038. Okay, so we have our conversion sheet that is done. Let's do some stamping. Okay, so we've got our conversion sheet done and now we're basically just gonna stamp all of these numbers into these corresponding spaces here. And the good thing about this actually is this layout here matches exactly this layout here. So that makes it easy not to uh, mix these up as you're doing it. We get the full experience and put the earplugs in as well. If you're not familiar with how these work, you basically have to roll them up, squish them, and then you stick them in your ears. Hearing is protected. So let's see how we go. So we'll start with 1038. You just push it and then it clicks. And you can see that has left a small hole. So just as I was doing this, I've noticed sometimes this doesn't come all the way out. And essentially, if you try and press it back in the second time and it doesn't make the click, you just need to make sure this is all the way out. And look, we've transcribed all the numbers. And look, just because I have a lot of dealings with people who've screwed up their backups, uh, I'm actually going to just transcribe these numbers onto here again, convert them back to words, and then run a recovery check on that. And just make sure that this is absolutely correct before we go burning anything in terms of our paper backups. And they give you two of these conversion sheets, so you might as well do it anyway. There you go, that worked. And uh, yep, that's the same seed that I use in my Keystone video. So basically we would then put them together. We would put the clips on. So we put those clips on, we could put our own sort of tamper evidence seal on here, just something like nail polish if you want. Uh, and again, I think it's a really, really good idea to also just include with this backup something that specifies the word list you have used like BIP39 English or something like that. You know, the device is all about being a hodler. So if you do decide to hodl for 10 years, uh, you need to make sure that you know how to interpret the numbers that are stored on this tag. All right, one last thing to test. There we go. Hmm. Well, after a couple of goes, at least there's enough words missing that you couldn't use BTC Recover to brute force it. And one final thing to test. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. Caramel wafer biscuit. That's different, but cheers. Summary time. So the crypto tag is definitely a uh, good metal seed storage backup mechanism for a few reasons. Firstly, it's made of titanium, uh, so you don't have to worry about it having an issue with melting or burning or anything like that, uh, especially given that some of the other metal steel backup products in the market are just made of aluminium, so may or may not survive a house fire. This definitely will. Uh, it's also very 
thick uh, in the titanium that it's made out of. So, you know, it's not going to crush or deform or anything like that. And they go to great lengths on their website to uh, look at some of the sort of destruction tests that they have tested the device on. On a practical note, it's easy to use in that it comes with everything you need to use the product, including uh, some matches to burn the recovery sheets that you will have to create as part of the process of transcribing and encoding the seed into numbers. Uh, you know, personally, I'm not a huge fan of products where you have to encode the seed into numbers first in that you are introducing more possibilities to make mistakes and uh, sort of removing some of the built-in redundancy and error checking that is built into BIP39. But at the same time, it also means that you can use this device uh, with any of the BIP39 word lists that exist as long as you print it out and use the correct numbering system. And you can also easily use it with uh, SLIP39 as well. It'll work with any length of seed from 12 up to 24. So regardless of which wallet you're using, you'll have no trouble backing up your seed into metal. You can get these from a number of places, including getting them bundled with a Trezor. So if you think they'd be helpful to help secure your backups and want to help me out in the process, there's an affiliate link in the description. If you've got any specific questions about the device or any thoughts, you know, definitely leave a comment. I'll do my best to reply to all of them. And uh, thanks again for the nice folk at CryptoTag for uh, sending me the device to look at, as well as the uh, Tasty Biscuit. Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.